guys, it's Missile Master here. I just want to go over a few things and give you a few tips before we start our magnetic reading groups next week. One thing that I want to talk to you all about is the iReady online resources. So in each of your rooms, you're going to have a panel so you can pull these things up while you're working with students and it'll already be logged in for you. Once you go in, all you have to do is hit Teacher Toolbox. Once you go to Teacher Toolbox, you're going to go to the program, which is Magnetic Reading Foundations Common Core, and then you find your grade. I'm going to be working with second grade, so I'm going to hit the two, and I'm going to scroll down. The first lesson that I'm going to teach with them is Week 1 Short Vowels, and here I'm going to find everything that I need for Week 1 Short Vowels for my students. So everything that's in the teacher's manual, everything that's in the student workbook is also here online for you. These things you may not need because you are going to have the card copy, but what I thought you might find helpful is the slides that go with each session. So if you will click the week one, session one slide, you can download. And it will pull up these slides. Now this is going to help guide you as you're teaching your students. There's also going to be a script for you to say in your teacher's manual, so you'll need this handy as well. And those scripted words are going to be in blue. But if you do that, you will see that this goes right along with your script. So we will hit slideshow and from the beginning, and we will start out with today's focus. So you will tell students, Today we're going to be focusing on short vowels A and I. Can you repeat that for me? Students will say today's focus is going to be A and I. So then you move along and this goes right along with your lesson. So as you're reading the script from your manual, you'll be able to click along and do the activities where the students will have that visual resource to see. I thought this was really nice. We also have these cards. These are your articulation cards and your sound spelling cards. So you'll have hard copies of those, but if you are, if you do have some students that are more visual and, they, and you think this is easier to use, you have this resource as well. So this goes all along. Uh, you will be blending these words with students. You'll be showing them the, the articulation cards for the sounds. One other tip I would like to share with you, besides just our session slides, is if you will scroll down on iReady, you will see there are videos for articulation to show students how to say the sounds with their mouths. There's also all these uh, unit assessments and weekly assessments that you can print and have ready to use. But what I like the most is all these extension activities. So say your group finishes a little bit early and you have 10 minutes left in your group. You may have talked about plurals during your group. So you could show the 15 minute video on ending S from iReady or you could show one about reading words with short vowels. You could also come on down here and do these extension activities for a writing prompt or comprehension questions. There's so many things that you could do. There should never be any downtime in your reading groups. It's bell to bell, so beginning to end, you're working a full 45 minutes. So whenever you're planning these lessons, make sure that you look at the lesson and you, you use your teacher judgment is this going to last the full 45 minutes? Is this going to make it all the way to the end? If not, I'm going to continue filling it with all these extension activities so that we know that we're giving our students the best that we can and we're making the most use of the time that we have.